Hello, and welcome to the last vowel that we will be practicing in isolation. We have finally made it to vowel U. We've done A, E, I, O, and now we're on U. U makes the a uh sound short. U makes the a uh sound. And now here's the tricky thing about short vowel U, or excuse me, long vowel U. All along we've said a long vowel says its name. So A would say A, I says I, E says E, O says O. But when we get to U, the U really does not say its name. We're not saying the long U as U. We're actually hearing the oo sound, which in about first or second grade you learned as two O's. Well, it's very tricky, but our long U sound actually says oo. Let's listen as we read these words together. Let's start here with lump, cute, fruit, trust, rule, Juice, luck, suit, glue, bun, use, blue, June, true, and do. So as we read, we heard about three different sounds. We heard the short U saying uh like lump. So we know that's a short U sound. L uh. Uh, um, as if someone's hit you in the stomach, we say, uh, uh. But then here we have cute. Now, this is about one of the only times in this list that you'll really hear the U say its name, U, cute, cute. Um, the other times we'll really hear that U sound. Now, why is this U saying U? because it's following the magic E rule. Magic E makes the vowel say its name. So no matter if it's A, E, I, O, or now U, the magic E at the end of the word makes the vowel say its name, and that magic E is silent. We're not saying QT or QT. This E is silent, making the U say its name, cute. Here we have fur, oo, oo, oot. Now this new rule is U, I together is making the U a long vowel sound. Well, why is that? That same rule. First vowel does the talking, second vowel does the walking. We saw it in um, long A with A, E. We saw it in long E with two E's together, E, E. We saw it with I, E in long vowel I. We saw it with O, A in long vowel O. The rule is the same. First vowel does the talking, second vowel does the walking. No matter what two vowels are together, that is your rule. And we see it again here. Although that's an E at the end of the word, it's not your magic E. Because remember, this line right here means that there's a consonant. Here we have it. The T is our consonant. It separates the U and the E, which makes this E a magic E. Here we have the U, E together, which follows the same rule as the U, I. First vowel does the talking. Second vowel does the walking. And we hear, or I'm sorry, we see it right here in the word glue. Now notice glue. It's not saying gl you. It's making that oo sound, which really is our long u sound. Now let's keep on going with our list. Read this word right here. Trust. Trust. I hear the uh sound. I don't see another vowel in this syllable. So that means it's a short U. How about this 
um, word, rule. Oh, we're following the rule here of the magic E making the U long vowel. Juice. Now here we've got a magic E at the end and the UI. In this case, the E is really helping this C um, say its soft sound. When a C is followed by an E, it says the S sound. Up here we can see that our letter C says K. K, K. All right, I have to press pause for a second and I've lost my train of thought, so I'm just going to start by going word to word. We've got juice O, oh, that's right. The E following a C makes the soft C sound, so it makes it juice. Here we see at the end of a syllable we have a CK, which makes the K sound. At the beginning of a word we have the K sound. So this E is not the magic E. It is actually there to make this soft. So in juice, you actually have the UI word rule, and it is first vowel does the talking, second vowel does the walking. All right. I'm going to give you a moment. If you're at school, I want you to press pause and sort your, the rest of your words on your own. If you're at home, you can write your words in the correct rule under the correct rule, um, but press pause and I'll see you back here in a minute. Alright, as you can see, I finished up my word sort and you have two. Let's look at our short U words, lump, trust, luck, bun. Now, here's the rule for short vowel U. Short vowel U is a short vowel because there are no other vowels in the syllable to make the U say its name. So because there's only one vowel in the syllable, it is a short vowel. Here, we know this rule as the magic E rule. So when you are writing your words for homework, or excuse me, your rules for homework, the U blank E is the magic E rule. Magic E rule is the magic E makes the vowel say its name. And both for the UI and the UE, it is the same rule. First vowel does the talking, second vowel does the walking. So we have fruit, juice, Suit, glue, blue, true, and do. And I skipped over our magic E words, which are cute, rule, use, and June. Notice June has an uppercase J. I will be looking for that uppercase J any time you write this word. It is a proper noun. It is a month of the year. Sometimes it's a name but it is a proper noun when referred to it as the month of a year. So, uppercase J, any time you write the word June.